this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer images onto a candle using two different methods. So I've had a lot of fun making these. I've got wax under my nails. I've got a mess all over my table, but I had a good time making them and I hope you do as well. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Alrighty, so let's get started. What you're going to need first is a candle, of course, and I got a boo-boo. See my boo-boo? <laughs> you're going to need a candle. Uh, these are rather small candles, but I got these at the Dollar Tree. Let's see, here they are. Um, the luminescence candles from Dollar Tree. These are fairly small, but you can use whatever size you like. And it really needs to be white. I've tried all various colors. White works best for this. So of course you're gonna need your candle. You're also gonna need some parchment paper. This came from Walmart, but Dollar Tree does carry this. I have used various different types of like wax paper, baking paper, whatever. Just plain old parchment paper is gonna give you the best result. I don't recommend anything else. You're also going to need some tape, a piece of cardstock, not too thick, just basic cardstock. You're also going to need some tissue paper. This also came from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a hair dryer. Okay. And of course, you're going to need a computer and a printer. So what I did, I've already printed these out, as you can see. So what you need to do is take your tissue paper, one sheet of tissue paper, lay it out, then take your cardstock and lay it on top of it. You need to fold your tissue paper, see, about that wide. I mean, really, not too narrow. Not too narrow because then you run a risk of it popping loose in your printer. A nice wide strip of the tissue paper and fold it over your cardstock and tape it into place. Now you don't want any tape sticking out on the edges, so take your scissors and trim that away if that's a problem. Try to keep it as smooth as possible. I know it's not going to be perfect. Mine had like a little slight ripple in it. It might not be perfect, but try to get your tissue paper as smooth as possible and wrapped around your cardstock and then tape it down. And once you have the image on your computer and your photo editing program that, that you want to use, of course you need to measure your candle and make sure that your image is going to be, in fact, just a little bit shorter than your candle is tall, okay, to make sure that you have enough room for it to fit on the candle. Arrange your images however you want on your computer, and then you want to put your tissue-wrapped cardstock into your printer so that the image will be printed onto the tissue paper. Now, I had my printer, I mean, I'm sorry, the computer set it just normal print settings. I didn't have it set for thick paper or slow printing or anything like that. Just regular print settings, and it worked out just fine. I've made many of these. I've never had a problem. And then once you bring it out of the printer, it should look like this. See, all of your images are printed on the tissue paper. The cardstock, you know, just helps to feed it through the printer. So now what you want to do is pick out whatever image you want. Let's start with this one here. Pick up whatever image you want. Just roughly cut it out here and lay that to the side. Okay, now just trim around it just a little bit. Don't worry, you're not, you're not gonna see any of this white tissue paper, really. Once you put it up against your candle, you're not gonna see any of that. So, you know, don't worry if you're not really close to your image. It'll be all right. You're not messing anything up here. So just trim around it. Just like that, okay? Now there's your image. Now let's get this stuff out of the way here. Now what you want to do is take your parchment paper and just cut a long strip, just like this, a long strip. You're gonna take your candle and take your image and just put it on your candle wherever you want. See, like this. Now if you want your image to wrap all the way around your candle, yes, you can do that. You're just going to have to take your parchment paper off and then put it back in a different position and heat it up to get yourself all the way around your candle. But for now, I'm just going to put this image right on the front of it. Okay, now there are two methods to do this. My favorite is using a hair dryer. Please do not use like a craft heat gun. Those get really hot and it's, it's really going to destroy this. It will melt your candle away. You don't want to use that. Use a hair dryer. I use mine on the highest setting. And then you want to take your, let's see, let's try to get it perfectly here. Take your strip of parchment paper and lay over it. Smooth it down. And they have all this excess in the back. That's what you want. So that's what you're going to use to hold your candle with. Okay, just make sure it's as smooth as possible. 
You see how, how I've got that held just like that? Now you can take the hair dryer and then we're going to blast it with the heat, just moving back and forth, back and forth until the image is transferred onto the candle. Or you can take a candle, light it, and then heat the back of a spoon and rub the back of the spoon over the image like that. And it will also transfer, but that way takes forever. And I'm not a patient woman. I want things done now. So I'm going to use a hair dryer. And as you dry your image, I'm going to say as you dry the image, you see how light looking it is? Well, as the wax on the candle starts to melt a little bit and the coating on the parchment paper starts to melt and the two come together, you'll see dark spots. You want your entire image to turn dark before you before you take your parchment paper off, okay? Now, I'm going to blast this with the hair dryer just for a few seconds before I cut the film here, and I want you to see the difference between the light and the dark, okay? Let me turn this on. Okay, now can you see that spot right there where it's starting to get dark? That's what you want the whole thing to look like, okay? So once your spot here starts to get dark, move on to another spot, okay? You can see how it's kind of changed right here. Just smooth it with your finger. Move on to another spot until it turns dark as well, trying to keep this as smooth as possible. Just keep moving around your candle until the whole area is dark like this. And then you're going to let it cool just for about 30 seconds while you're still holding it. And then we're going to carefully remove the parchment paper. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to work on mine. And then I'm going to come back and I'll show you what it looks like once I remove the parchment paper. Okay, I have finished heating mine. It has cooled down and the image has lightened back up a little bit from behind the... Um, the parchment paper, you see my hand's red, but that's okay. <laughs> all right, so I believe it's all smoothed down, and it's, it's cool to the touch. So, all right, we are going to very carefully peel away our, whoopsie, our parchment paper here, and there we go. There's the image on your candle. So, and it's pretty well sealed on there. I mean, it's it's not going to come off. Like I said, I've... Um, I've burned plenty of these candles, big ones, small ones. I've burned them all the way down with images on them like this. I've never had a problem with it catching fire or anything like that. So um, I'm, don't be concerned about that. I mean, I guess don't leave a candle burning unattended, of course. But, you know, but there you go. I said you can add text. You know, you could personalize these for weddings, birthdays, Christmas, for the grandparents, memorial candles, you know, whatever you want. So there's a flower one. Here's a, here's a cat one that I did. I think that was pretty cool. Here's <laughs> a cat. But, um, yep, there you go. So, if you like this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and check me out on Facebook and on my website. The links to both of those are in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.